Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. Uh, just a quick little video. Weather's really, really shy. Bit dry, it's dry, dry at the moment, but yeah, we've had loads of rain. Not really had that that uh, many opportunities to get out and uh, record any content um, other than the odd sort of bike review, which I hope you're enjoying. Um, yeah, what I have done though in the last couple of hours, I've just I've just installed the heated grips on the bike. I thought, well, we're not having much of a summer, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah that's one thing that you know i suffer with is cold hands i can't be doing with that so uh went to uh went off to triumph and yeah picked myself up some nice heated grips um genuine accessories had a go at fitting them myself not too bad of a job um a little bit fiddly but i'm reaping the benefits of them now oh thank you it's a bit naughty. Yeah, anyway, where was I? Yeah, a little bit fiddly to, to, to install, but yeah, not too bad of a job, really. Um, yeah, and I'm, like I say, this, the factory factory uh, grip, so you've got on the display here, if you can see, the red grip at the bottom there, which is indicating the temperature. There's a button here on the left, so if I press that now, that'll drop, uh, change the colour. So you've got amber, that's off there. So you've got full power there is on the red it's three different levels of heat anyway so I'm gonna keep them on on red for now just to make sure they're working okay I did consider some aftermarket ones but like I say you know you wouldn't you wouldn't yeah you got this display on there you know and also they fit nicely nice and um, what do you call it nice and uh, what word am I looking for discreet is the word so we're here and they are yeah they seem to be warming up lovely which is brilliant brilliant yeah the weather's not not very nice at all but not even that warm now which is disappointing disappointing Well, anyway, if you're, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you've just passing through, consider subscribing. Plenty of bike content coming, plenty of new bike reviews, um, hopefully. Oh, yeah, the old pinkies are getting nice and toasty now. Oh, lovely. Lovely. That's one thing on a motorbike, as you should, uh, you'll already know if you're a motorcyclist, that it's your hands, your fingers that seem to just freeze <laughs> yeah you can get have the best gloves going but i know they do heat your gloves but i just thought you know something that i've been contemplating it's probably one of the better accessories you know that uh, you could probably go for on a bike really especially if you're a commuter on a motorcycle but uh yeah we you know we all do modifications you know for cosmetics for looks and but this one i think is kind of a must-have so if you've got yourself a, you know, a, a Triumph and you want to take the plunge, I'd highly recommend these ones. Like I say, I've only just, uh, it's my first sort of ride out with them, but yeah, I can already feel the benefits. Looks like it's going to lash it down the rain, so I'm not going to be out for too long. Oh. I was going to do a, a little um, video of fitting them in the garage, but I thought, you know, it was so fiddly, and I just thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll fit them, and I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you know how uh, how it was. And uh, yeah, overall, it was pretty pretty good. And like I say, if you've got any any um, mechanical skills or what have you, the only thing I did notice, uh, which was like, was a bit of a bit of a pain, was the tank. You undo these two little bolts here. And normally on a motorbike the tank hinges back not on this one well not that i could see anyway the tank didn't hinge it hinges back but not very far there's like two little tangs on the on the on the kind of like on the tank hinge 
which they kind of like knock onto the subframe so it'll, it limits you from how far you can tilt the, the tank back which is a bit awkward I, I managed to do it but if you're going to do anything like um, you know any other maintenance like I don't know plugs or air fill or anything under there you probably have to remove the tank I'm not sure I'd have to look a bit more into that or if anybody knows feel free comment let me know in the comments on uh, uh, what you what you think of that but anyway yeah thanks for joining me just a very quick video testing out the grips and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video take care see you soon